subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here and today we're going to unbox the tp-link wireless nano usb adapter so that you can use wi-fi on your pc or laptop which doesn't have wi-fi bands or card in it so let's begin the unboxing video so here is the box uh, we got the TP-Link logo on the top so it can support up to 150 megabits per second of wireless internet speed uh, here we have wireless and nano USB adapter so here is your wireless adapter which is actually going to pick up wireless signals and provide internet to your laptop or PC which doesn't have wireless card in it the model number is TLWN725N on the top right we can see that it is compatible with Windows, Mac and Linux uh, 150 megabits Wi-Fi speed nano size USB 2.0 is its technology on the side it tells us the package contents so here if the camera can focus on it we got our wireless USB adapter we got our quick installation guide and resource CD I think these are our driver CD we got its specification uh, uh, it also has LED status security etc etc you can read them if you want on the back we got its little diagram as well and that's all so let's cut open it and see inside so let's open it so we got this plastic on the top so i'm just going to put a cut over here so i think that should be enough yes it is opening the box we are going to slide it out here we have it and the box is empty from here so here we got our actual uh, wireless nano adapter so you can see that its size is really really small so let me just open it okay we got here So here is the size as you can see so it's really 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 small so I think it's cool because it's not going to look too much it has a, I would say a minimalistic design if you have used TP-Link wireless adopters in the past they usually had antennas on them but this one is really small and a minimalistic design so it's going to look nice on your laptop and I would say merely unnoticeable so here on the lower compartment we got our user manual so again it's very simple all we need to do is to connect to the usb port our pc we are going to use this uh, 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 cd drive to install the drivers or you can download them directly from the internet if you don't have a uh, dvd drive bay on your laptop pc so i'm just going to download the drivers from the internet because that's going in that way i'm going to have the latest update but that's also here is it is here it is you can see its size so now we are going to move towards our pc and i'm going to show you how you can download install drivers and how this actually works so here you are going to select the version for your tp-link device so it comes in three versions version one two and three if you want to find out which version you have simply you're going to press on this button it's going to open a new page and you can see that which version do you have so you're just simply going to see the fcc id at the last of the fcc id it will say version 2 or version 3 if it doesn't say anything it means that you have the version 1 so you can just simply look on the wireless usb adapter but uh, for if you are going to select version 1 and if you are using windows 10 like i am and if you go to the drivers you can see that it's only supported windows xp vista and salmon so it won't support windows 10 so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to select version 3 even though i don't have the version 3 but it will support windows 10 so you can see it will support windows 10 64 bits so i'm going to download this file because it is supported by my computer even though it is not the same version but hopefully it will work so it's uh i would say a 10 mb file so it won't take long so here you can see the download is completed it's in a zip file so we're going to double press to open it here we're going to have another folder we're going to open it and here we're going to have the setup but before 
installing the setup what I'm going to do is that currently I'm using LAN on this PC so I'm going to unplug the LAN cable as you can see so now I have no internet connection I'm going to plug in the TP-Link wireless nano adapter to one of the USB ports so we heard the sound so it means that it has been connected we're going to double press on the setup to run it so we're st still going to run it because it's okay so now it's going to search for our adapter so be sure to first plug in your wireless nano usb and then install it and you can see it has successfully detected it and now it's going to install the drivers for our tp link so the process is quite simple and easy again my usb adapter was a version 1 but i installed the version 3 driver only because version 3 supports windows 10 i tried to download the version 1 driver but it didn't work on windows 10 so if you are having the same case you can just simply uh, install the version 3 drivers so nothing will happen as you can see so the download has been complete we can press on this internet icon and you can see that it has now successfully detected my home uh, wireless or wi-fi network so i'm going to plug in it so i'm going to enter my password so i'll be right back so after entering my password i'm going to uh, verify and connect so you can see that even though this small or nano usb doesn't have many bands but it's still picking up the signal although this pc is really far from the main router uh, but uh, sometimes i don't have the lane cable available so having wi-fi is really neat so let's just open i don't know my channel to see if the internet is working or not and guys if you have subscribed to my channel please do so it will support me a lot so you can see it's opening again uh, i don't have really fast wi-fi connections over here you can see that i'm barely having two uh, signals or three so not that much but still okay so we're just going to open our youtube channel from here but anyways guys you can see that the wi-fi internet is working perfectly with this tp link wireless adapter so guys that's all for this unboxing video and the setup video if you like guys like this video again please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of questions regarding this video write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so uh, thank you for watching and stay safe